Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and I could not be any happier about this weekend's Tampa Pro went off without a hitch, awarding a new champion, Hunter Labrada won the open class, of course George Peterson won the 212, but anyway, on to the, the open class here, Ian Valier, he placed second to Hunter Labrada. And the gentleman in the green here is Dwayne Walker. A lot of people are upset. They believe that he deserved that second place. And maybe even first. You could do a comparison between him and Hunter Labrada. Because the judges sure weren't. They were more calling out Ian and Hunter. Which was confusing, I guess, to a lot of people. Because judging by this pose, and there's a lot more poses, guys. This one here I would give to Dwayne. Even though the arms of Ian look good, but there's no flow to the physique. The waist to lat ratio is just dreamlike when you look at Dwayne Walker there. Just very impressive. But you look at the lats here. Now watch this. You see that? That's just unreal. Now it appears that Ian, Ian, Ian has the, uh, the advantage in the lats. Now rewind it and look at the lat to waist ratio in the front double by for Dwayne. It's a, it's a confusing situation. I guess he should evolve into that front lat spread a little bit better like Ian's doing. That looks fantastic. What a pose here. So those of you who are saying it was a ripoff for Dwayne Walker, have a look at all these poses, guys, for sure. Now the side chest development... I think it's a bad angle for Ian, to tell you the truth. I watched the video, and his chest, his side chest compared much better to Dwayne's than this here comparison. But we have to go with what we have, ladies and gentlemen. This is a victory for Dwayne Walker. Better set of pecs, for sure. You can't argue that. So I think he would get the side chest anyway, even if it was a perfect angle here for Ian. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's go on with these poses and I would wager to say that Dwayne Walker is getting the side tricep as well. Now, that's one pose in the front double for Dwayne. Might not have, or definitely was not getting the front lat spread. But in my opinion, he is getting the two side shots. So there is probably definitely some controversy here, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, the, the aesthetics, they're just not there for Ian. And, I, and this Dwayne Walker, he could be the next, I don't know, Patrick Moore, the next the next big thing. Underneath Hunter Labrada, of course, he won the title. There's no disputing that. But I think we should all place a good microscope over top of this Dwayne Walker and have a good look at him. And, of course, we have to look at the back developments and look at the lower lat thickness of this Dwayne Walker. He means business. And you know what else, guys? He is winning in the calf development. And you know me and my calves. I always place a great deal of emphasis on that. It's the basement of the house, and I get criticism on that. People calling me Mark's Max calves. Hey, if you don't have a good set of calves, that's the first thing the judges see. And it appears that Ian definitely has some atrophy or something going on with his calves. His conditioning is there. Rock solid. He looks very conditioned. Maybe not quite so much in the glutes, but the back looks hard and crisp. But it's just too much here for for Ian. I give this one to Dwayne for sure. Now the rear double by does not translate quite so well for Dwayne Walker, this newcomer. But he looks pretty solid, guys. I think I should be doing a lot more comparisons with Dwayne in the future, and I would like to see him compete. Maybe even win a pro show. I mean, if this word gets out that this guy was ripped off, the fans are really going to start getting behind him. And that's what happens. Taking nothing away from the conditioning here of Ian. I mean, not the best. Nick Strength and Power said he had soggy glutes. Well, I don't know. He is missing the lower lat thickness. And Dwayne has that in spades. So, guys, it's, it's a fairly close one. I would wager to say so far, Ian definitely is losing and when you go to the ab and thigh there is a separation in the pack now and not only is Dwayne Walker dominating and I mean dominating this here pose look how smooth Ian looks like 
far too smooth. Too smooth, Gorilla. Just like Jesse the Batty Ventura says. And Jesse always tells it like it is. But anyway, one of my heroes, you know, Jesse. Definitely nothing to do with this competition, which is being won by Dwayne Walker, in my opinion. So all of the people that were handpecking about this, Dwayne being better than Ian, they were right, unless Ian is going to dominate in this pose, the most muscular, and I have to say, Ian is losing this one as well. Dwayne is winning this one. Dwayne Walker, he could be the next big thing. Why the judges decided to stick it to him, I'll never know. But they did, and they should give their heads a shake. Dwayne Walker, guys, 2020 Tampa Pro, this is your second place winner. No dispute that, guys. And if you do dispute it, I will come to your house, and I will fight you. I'm just joking. I'd probably lose to most of you guys. Fairly big lads, I assume. And furthermore, disputing these calls is what bodybuilding is all about. And that's what makes it the best sport in the world. You can dispute all day long till the cows come home. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed this comparison. That is just my two cents. Hit thumbs up on it. Subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.